it's almost time. Getting ready to leave to start my Appalachian Trail through hike. Just getting a couple more hours of some good hard work and some extra money in before flying out. Delivering some groceries to some people. Where do you think daddy's plane is? plane going from Portland to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Atlanta. Wheels up soon. Signs that you're back in the southeast again. Mm -mm -mm. And over here, Midwood Smokehouse. It's about six in the morning in Charlotte waiting for my layover to get to Atlanta and I'm going to eat me some smoked sausage biscuits and gravy here before flying to Atlanta. It's about a three hour layover so kind of a pain in the butt but at least I get some good barbecue biscuits and gravy.
standing at the Atlanta airport outside waiting on my shuttle ride to get me to Amicalola. Man, I'm telling you, that plane coming from Charlotte was packed in like sardines. Hopefully, they're not all going through the trail. <laughs> I know they're not. It's actually a little chilly out today, about 35 right now, but it's supposed to get a little warmer. But uh, heading to Amicalola, just uh, waiting on my shuttle guy, the same guy I had last year, Ron. He's my guy. He uh, knows the area, knows uh, has supplies and everything in the truck and everything. So he should be here anytime. I know he's out here waiting. He was just waiting to see which gate I'm at. So it's almost time. Right there's my guy. Good old Rod, the man who knows the Georgia 18. the top of Amicalola Falls. You can see in the distance where the stairs are. That part is closed right now, so I went around the whole side of it. So basically over here, wrapped all the way around, and then came down this little staircase here, and this is the top of the falls. I actually think going up the stairs is easier <laughs> than going around this side trail. Uh, but that falls, or the uh, stairs is closed right now, so it will be closed from my understanding for at least a few months. Uh, so if you're coming out here, you're going to want to go, I believe it's called the East Ridge Trail, it goes around the side of it. Uh, it's just constant up, stairs get you there quicker, that's why it's a little easier in my opinion. But it's beautiful from the top, and the mountains are beautiful, always. Beautiful day today. This is the Amicalola Falls Lodge, where I will be staying tonight. After about 30 plus hours of being awake and traveling and getting everything done and spending time with my wife before heading out, which was a red-eye flight. <laughs> so it was at night, so I basically was up all day, get up very early in the morning, and then off to the airports. Thank goodness it was very mild today, today or yesterday or both days, however you want to say that. Traveling, not too many hiccups, just, you know, slow moving. I wish it would have been a direct flight, but got a really good deal on a layover in Charlotte. And I figured, well, that won't be too bad because at least I'll do the bulk of it in the first flight. And then the second flight, I'll only have like an hour more on an airplane. <laughs> so not too bad. The layover, like I said, kind of stunk, but I was able to get some breakfast there and everything. It wasn't too bad. But this is the lodge. This is where I'll be staying. And basically right down there where I just came from, you'll see all this on tomorrow's video. But that will be the start of my Appalachian Trail through hike. Starting tomorrow. Bright and early. Right now I'm going to go in here and get checked in. Maybe grab some food. And I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Maybe just sleep for the rest of the day. I don't know. Play it by ear. All I know is my body is tired. My mind is tired. Welcome to the lodge. You're home away from home. <laughs> really cool map mural here on one of the walls of the Amicalola Falls Lodge where I'm staying tonight. As you can see, this thing is very big. <laughs> Shows the whole trail. 
all the way from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Maine. Give this perspective a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that thing is big. Can't see the top. Nice little fireplace over here. But this is the best part of it, in my opinion. We have several decks out here where you can overlook the mountains. Probably going to be a really epic sunset there tonight. Which will make it all worth me staying here for the night. Well, the sleep will make it worth it. <laughs> Let's go outside take a closer look. So as you can see, I am here at Amicalilla Falls Lodge. I finally made it after a, a nice, grueling 30 hours of not sleeping uh, just because of things that had to be done uh, with the pack, saying goodbye to my wife, saying goodbye to the puppies. That's always stressful, obviously. Uh, but there was no stress, no problems at all with the transportation and journey itself. Uh, there, last year, you know, there was delays because of ice and snow on the plane and <laughs> flying in here and then that because it was so delayed my shuttle driver Ron same as uh, this year he had to come back in the afternoon because he had other people he had to pick up uh, so ended up getting stuck at the airport for hours uh, and then finally got to Amicola Falls and the park was closed so I never was able to register yeah, and not that that matters but it just everything was kind of going wrong the first day but it's all, it's all good I mean it all worked out it was, you know it was a great through like last year uh, this year quite a bit different. The weather is cooperating. The weather is beautiful. It's not going to be raining for like three or four days, I think. Uh, it's nice and sunny and mild. Oh, just beautiful weather. Uh, but it was a great trip. No delays, like I said. Flew into Charlotte uh, and then from Charlotte to Atlanta. Then Ron picked me up. Uh, and I do want to say quickly here about Ron. If you are going to be doing a through hike on the AT, if you are just maybe coming here to do a section or you're coming into Amcolola Falls for any reason, Ron is your guy. Ron's shuttle. I will leave his contact information in the description of this video. Uh, a lot of people don't know really how to get to, from Atlanta Airport to Amicola Falls. Uh, you can take an Uber. You could take a Lyft. They're probably not going to bring you all the way. They're probably going to drop you a little bit off of you know where you might want to go, especially if you're wanting to go to Springer Mountain. Um, and then you'll have to walk the rest of the way up. Uh, nobody wants to do that, obviously, because you're already going to be hiking. Why hike, hike a, a dirt road all the way up? But I digress. That's not even the big reason. He has 18 years of experience. Um, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to get around. But it's the experience and the wisdom he has, the knowledge and wisdom, I should say, and the wisdom he has. He just knows the mountains. He knows the roads. He knows the hiking culture. He knows how to hike. He knows, you know, the different things that you're going to need that you might not know or things that you might already know. Uh, he's just a great guy, very entertaining, very nice, friendly, southern hospitality kind of guy. He has supplies and such in, in his vehicle, so if you forget anything, he can set you up. Um, so anybody could give you a ride, but he gives you a ride and imparts information into you. He, you know, water reports of what might be dry, what might not, what might be overflowing uh, for water and what where you might have a dry section, uh, you know, just the roads and different things that's going on. Uh, just a great guy, uh, does a great job at what he does. Uh, anytime I come into Atlanta Airport and go any, any trail around here, I, I will, I will always use them. And He's not paying me to do this. He's not doing anything like that. He's just, when somebody is, goes above and beyond, I like to give him a thumbs up and let everybody know. But I do know a lot of people have trouble finding a way to get from Atlanta Airport to here. He's the guy. Trust me. Ron Shuttle. His contact information will be in the description. Uh, but anyway, he dropped me off at Amicalilla Falls. I got my hang tag to put on my backpack with the one from last year and the PCT. Now I'm number 56. For this year, number 56. That means I'm the 56th person starting a through hike this year. I plan on moving up a little bit from 56. <laughs> we'll see. It's not all about that. But uh, I'm here to conquer. I'm here to put those mountains in the bag. I'm here to put Katahdin in the bag. I'm here to put the Appalachian Trail in the bag and then to move on to PCT. This is a huge year, 3,500 miles, and I'm ready to do this. I am excited. I'm not excited in the way that I normally am. 
I'm more excited because it's time to conquer. I am more motivated than I think I've ever been in my life for anything. So I'm ready to slay this, slay this dragon, as they, as, as they would say, I guess, in a fairy tale. <laughs> but it's going to be a great year. And that through hike starts tomorrow. Uh, I have about eight miles of the approach trail after the lodge here. And then I'm on Springer Mountain and it's on, baby. It's on. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you for coming along. I wanted to show you a little bit about the journey over the last 24 hours. The planes, trains, and automobiles it takes to get here. Uh, the, a little bit of the preparation. A little bit of the sadness, you know, uh, with the family saying goodbye. Uh, but I'm here. I'm ready to conquer. And you're going to be coming with me. And I'm very thankful for that. Very thankful that I had this opportunity to help inspire and educate people with osteoporosis. And I'm really thankful that I get to do this in memory of my daughter uh, and that you all are here to be a part of that and to help out. Anything you want to help out with, uh, I, there's links in the description, you know, all that good stuff as well. So check that out. Anything you can help with, I'm always going to be thankful for. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that much at all. Uh, that's really the only time I'm going to mention it. Look in the description for those kind of informations uh, or that kind of information and, uh, you know, other links of, uh, you know, maybe other YouTube uh, YouTube people that I want you to check out. Hiking Rev is one. Great guy I met on the PCT. He has a great channel. Check him out as well. He did the Penhoti last year. Uh, great guy and uh, great heart. Uh, and uh, check him out. But uh, as for now, I'm signing off. I'm going to get some sleep. And that's probably why I'm rambling, because hmm. I never ramble any other way. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly true. <laughs> anyway, see you all tomorrow, and remember, live life! <laughs>